Good evening, everyone. Hope you are keeping safe and well. My name's Anton from the West Ham Network, bringing you today's 10th of May rendition of Hammer's Headlines in association with the guys over at KUMB.com. Go and check them out on their website. Great content, as usual. And I hope you are keeping well, of course. West Ham come off the back of a player award ceremony where we have found out who was given certain awards, the player's player of the season, Jared Bowen, the Mark Noble Young Hammer of the Year went to Ben Johnson. The team performance was West Ham versus Leon away. Individual performance was Craig Dawson against Leon away. And of course, Hammer of the Year was to Declan Rice for the second um, time in his West Ham career at the age of 23. What a player we've got on our hands. What a fantastic player we do on our hands. If you are new around here, though, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button. Please let us know in the comment section what you think of the content that we're doing as well. But as I've been talking about Declan Rice, I may as well start off with the man himself. Um, and he's dropped several hints that his future beyond this summer lies at West Ham as he collected the West Ham's Hammer of the Year last night. Um, he's been a long-term target of clubs like Man United, Man City, Chelsea, and he spoke of the challenge of leading the club forward after Mark Noble's retirement um, and being ready to go again in Europe for following last week's really disappointing loss at, uh, against Frankfurt. He's got two years left in his contract, as we know, but the club have the option of an extra year beyond that, meaning that we're under maybe a little bit of pressure with the situation, especially the fact that we valued him so high and play and, and, and he's he's next level as well. Apparently he's turned down three improved contract offers from West Ham. Um, and that would have seen him be the West Ham's best paid player. And you know, we'll have to see what happens here. He has got a desire to win trophies, he's got a desire to play the top level Champions League football. And fingers crossed, West Ham could bring that if we had a successful season next season in Europe. And he actually went on to say last night in his thing, we've proved that we can play in big European games and our fans in our stadium have shown we can handle those big European nights. And that's what we want more of. Um, so, so saying the right things, picking, you know, taking two and two and, and getting the right answer there. He says, I'm proud of the lads because we're not the biggest of squads. So true. So to go week in and week out again and again and again, training and playing Thursdays and Sundays away from home, <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> As I have a coughing fit, I do apologize. Terrible. That's what happens when you do these recordings sometimes. Um, and being away from home and away from families, it has been massively tough. But in the end, we've got had a great year and we're ready to go again. What else do you want the captain to say? I mean, apart from coming out and saying, I'm staying with you lads, I'm not leaving. So it's all kind of positive. You know, it was an emotional evening. Tributes began for Mark Noble, who will retire at the end of the season, having played more than 500 games for the club. Um, and we know, as I've mentioned, the young Mark Noble Hammer of the Year Award, which has now been named after him in honour of Mark Noble, was given to Ben Johnson for the second time in a row. Um, and... You know, Declan Rice talked about how Noble was his mentor during his first team breakthrough. Um, and he said things like, to be honest, when Nobes was up on the stage earlier, I was getting emotional myself. And I had to put my way and my head away from the lads because I was starting to cry and getting upset. I can't describe what he has done for me from when I walked in at 16 when I was in the first team training in games. I can honestly say as if he wasn't here, I wouldn't have done as well as I have done on and off the pitch. It's going to be tough next year without him. But I know he's only a call away and, and it's and he's not big time. It's been an absolute honour to play with him. So take from that what you want. Take from that what you want. But for me, I've always stated it, I do think we'll see Declan Rice start the season with West Ham 
in the summer. Apologies for my coughing fit, of course. Um, but let me move on to the next story, and that is that we responded to the Europa League disappointment on Thursday evening against Frankfurt by beating Norwich 4-0 at home, boosting our top six or seven chances in the league. But the game, um, you know, had a little bit of setback considering we had three injury scares in the game. So Saeed Benrama scored a brace uh, and Mickey Antonio got a goal and Lanzini got a goal which brought the three points home to the London Stadium. Um, but Antonio did come off the park. Benrama came off during the contest and the initial fears, especially for Benrama because he was seen limping um, and on crutches, was that they may miss the rest of the season alongside Craig Dawson. But Moyes spoke after the routine victory and revealed some good news, which would hopefully give the fans a big boost. He said Mick's got a bit of a knock on his hip. Dawson took one in the calf and Saeed um, could have been his ankle. I've not had a chance to see them properly yet, but so hopefully they are all okay. I don't think they are that serious, which is obviously positive news. Reports are suggesting that um, all three players could be ready to rock and roll. The only one that may have a slight less a chance from the other two could be Syed bin Rama, but we think that he will be available for the Man City game as well, and I definitely think he needs um, that, that 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 game, especially coming off the back of getting a, a brace against Norwich as well. Leave your comments in the comment section below as we talk about those three players making the boost back. Last but not least, one last game for the man himself, Mark Noble. Um, he's going to play his last ever game uh, for West Ham against Manchester City this Sunday. However, he has just been announced that he will be playing his last ever game at the West Ham's London Stadium um, in next month's soccer aid match. Um, he's been with West Ham for 22 years, um, including 18 as a senior player, and he's retiring at the end of this season. And it was set to be his last ever game at the stadium when we play Man City, like I said, on Sunday. But it's been revealed that he has been included in England charity match for Soccer Aid. Harry Redknapp will manage the team for the fixture. There'll be lots of celebrities. I'm not even going to name some of the celebrities because you might not know them and I might not know them. Some ex-professional players, Gary Neville, Jimmy Carragher, Joe Cole, Mark Wright, they will all be involved as well. And what Mark Noble said was, I was touched when Soccer Aid from Uni uh, for UNICEF invited me to play for England. Playing for your country is the greatest honour for any professional athlete. And Sunday, the 12th of June, will be no different for me or for my kids who are being Soccer Aid fans. Add to that the fact that this is such a special cause. I can't wait to run out in front of 60,000 fans at the London Stadium one last time. It'll be an emotional day for sure, but I want you all to share it with me. Noble never earned a senior cap for England during his playing career, although he did represent his country at numerous uh, youth levels with 47 appearances in total. Depending on how you thought about it, I think it's very fair, unfairly just that he didn't get a senior call-up. Several times through his career when West Ham have been forming well, Mark Noble has stepped up to be the lead captain, the leader from our team. And during a time when, you know, England weren't performing, you always felt like Mark Noble did deserve an England call up. So if this is a, a a minor thing that can definitely help him feel that, you know, England buzz, especially with the fans turning up, then so be it. And it's all for a good cause as well. So it is good to see it. And it's you know what, it's getting a bit emotional now because he's only got two more games left as a West Ham player, which is really starting to hit home a bit now. I can't believe that, you know, Mark Noble will be retiring at the end of the season, but fingers crossed West Ham are going to offer him some form of role. And I think he said yesterday in his speech that he has been in communication with the club, but he's going to take a holiday and it's a deserved holiday with his family as well. If you are new around here, please make sure you do go and subscribe to the channel. Please make sure you do hit the thumbs up. Please do leave a comment in the comment section. I've discussed Declan Rice's comments on the back of the Player Award, Hammer of the Year Award he received last night, where he was hinting at staying at the club. I've talked to you about the injury boosts that West Ham have got with Bayern Benrama, Dawson and Mickey Antonio. And I've spoken to you about one more big game for Mark Noble um, after he leaves West Ham at the end of this season. Leave your comments and let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and come on, you Irons. <laughs>